What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all do it today? Do it all right today. I'm back with a brand new episode of Stoner Tips. Today we are back with episode 121 of the Stoner Tips series. Today's topic is another continuation of the last couple videos that I have made on this subject. We're going to be talking about hybrid dab cartridges. So with that being said, if you guys do enjoy, smash the thumbs up button let's dive right on into this video hybrid dab cartridges all right so as i said before in my last couple videos i'm gonna try to make this one kind of short because there's really not much i could say about it considering the fact that i went out and made indica dab cartridges and sativa dab cartridges all right and i was reading the comments on my videos one of you guys did recommend this one as well and i was reading along some of the comments and a lot of uh i mean not a lot but a lot of the cartridges being made now from I've heard from some of you guys a lot of the cartridges being made now might actually be mislabeled or might actually be a, a certain strain that it actually is not I have no I, I can tell you if it that is the actual facts or not because I'm out here as I said before in, in a, in a non-legal state we don't get to choose bro we we are literally the bottom of the food chain when it comes to smoking weed we literally just get whatever the surplus is of the the big weed companies and we try to to just get high off of that shit, which odds are 100% of the time, pretty much. I mean, I'm not gonna say 100 because this is we're working with something else here. This is dab cartridges. This isn't normal fucking weed. This is some next level shit. So I'm just gonna say a majority of the time it's gonna be some good shit, but it's not gonna be to the point of where oh, you know, we know exactly what we're smoking at all times. No, because we can't walk into no fucking dispensary and just choose the shit we want. We are literally just referring off of this dude who got it from California, quote unquote, you know? So that's where we're st uh, at the standpoint with now. But for the hybrids, a lot of people are saying, even when they say sativa on there, or even when they say indica on the packaging, this very well may be a hybrid, okay? And I couldn't tell you guys if that's true or not, but for hybrid weed, it is pretty much more beneficial rolling the dice with a hybrid and seeing what you get either more sativa or more indica whatever the case is whatever you're shooting for and just rolling your dice and getting a hybrid now the reason i say that is because a lot of the times if you get a hybrid it will have a hybrid is is uh, a combination of both of them an indica and a sativa so some of the sativa aspects are going to imply and some of the indica aspects are also going to imply so this is where pretty much rolling the dice comes in whichever side you get more or whichever side you can even feel would be a lot more beneficial than just getting one side when i say side i mean either indica or sativa and realizing that i'm smoking a sativa right now and i'm getting indica feelings from it you know i'm getting tired i'm getting sleepy i'm getting you know i feel it in my body that is some shit that you guys are going to want to avoid but as i said before we are not in a position to where we can go in and actually one 100% choose what we want to get okay this is some shit that we have to just trust that's going down all the way across state lines across country or not uh, you feel me especially from where i am dude this shit is this shit is not some shit that you are going to want to trust 100 percent. yeah you could trust it 99 98 maybe 97 you feel me but you are not going to want to put all your faith in there this shit like oh it says it on the box it's a hybrid or it says it on the box it's a sativa i'm in on this shit you feel me do not do that to yourself because it is very easy for people to replace cartridges and to do whatever the fuck they want they could take a hybrid cartridge out throw it in the sativa cartridge uh you know the packaging sativa packaging pack them off like that you feel me there's a lot of slick ways to go about doing this that's why when we are out here doing the shit that we do we cannot be in a position to where we could believe a hundred percent of the time the shit that we're getting is real it's always odds are it's gonna be real it just might not be what's on the packaging because you don't know what goes on behind the scenes you, you know a hybrid might be five dollars less than than a sativa uh, an indica might be ten dollars less than a sativa you know it, it is a whole fucking literal economy for this shit and just just for us people to get cut in on it i don't think it's going to be that easy so make sure if you guys are in the same position as me it's odds are man it's just all luck 
and it's it's more of a kind of you got to know your plug a lot as well you can't just trust that one he's saying you got to actually trust him as a person and make sure that he wouldn't do no shady shit like that if you guys have a good plug like that i mean you're in the clear but a lot of people out there their plugs just want to make money so in the end they're gonna do everything they possibly can to save money so with all this shit being said bro i wanted to make this episode really short but i also did want to cover it because some of you guys did recommend it so i said fuck it i might as well just make a quick video on it it's gonna be a, one of my shorter episodes of stoner tips but just be on the lookout it's kind of what i'm giving you guys in this episode of stoner tips like do not believe every cartridge you see out there whatever it says do not believe that that's actually what it is if you hit it and that's what you feel then you can go on believing that but after you know before you're picking it up or whatever if you're just looking at it i, well, I would say you know try to get a hit of that shit before you buy it <clears throat> And once you hit that shit, then you'll know for a fact what it actually is. I mean, you won't notice right away, but if you're chilling for like 10, 15 minutes, whatever the case is, if he invites you over to the crib, you guys are cooling, playing some games or whatever the case is, hit that shit and see how you feel feel off of it and then go based on your recommendation on that and see where you can go from there with it but in the end bro i just want you all you guys to stay safe with it uh this is a very um you know unique business right now especially where we're at in time uh for the non-legal states so we will see where it ends up to but just stay safe with it and if you guys are going for you know certain strain we will never know the options until it is officially legal so with all that being said i hope you guys did enjoy smash the thumbs up button if you guys did be sure to check out my instagram if you guys uh do not follow me on there follow me on youtube as well be sure to subscribe check out all my videos other than that i'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow for a brand new video so y'all stay safe stay savage stay low-key it's your bud a low-key legend i'm out of here guys adios